Hey everybody, Sleeve in South Jersey. And this one actually dropped on my lap. I had heard some rumors that uh, this location was closing. And I just, uh, I guess I just uh, didn't really think about it. And then, through my travels today, I happened to notice that yes, this place is now closed. What is it? Well... We're here in Clementon, New Jersey, my hometown, and we'll just see what it is when I get out of my car, okay? Here we are next to Clementon Park. Um, uh, park that nearly did go abandoned, thankfully. Uh, someone purchased it and uh, put it back to good use again. But uh, yep, this is the Santander Bank here uh, in Clementon. Interesting, it was a, uh, one time it was First Peoples, uh, the People's National Bank used to have a, uh, a large building here uh, along this uh, road, Berlin Road here. If I find um, uh, any sort of uh, um, uh, footage online of the old uh, People's National Bank, I will uh, place it right about here. And uh, at any rate, we see uh, they closed up shut pretty quickly. You see here the chairs are on the desks there and left their sanitizer behind. I guess uh, I guess nobody's hands were clean. <laughs> but yes. It's it was a replacement for the uh, the old People's National Bank. Okay, that branch closed March 30th, so just uh, today's April 3rd. So yeah, a few days ago. See, it's still got power, of course. You know, don't try to do anything stupid. And of course, uh, if you like the discoveries we find here on this channel, you know what to do: like, share, subscribe. Um, hit that bell so you know when new stuff is on the sleeve to the channel. Mm -hmm. So left a Gatorade behind, so we left uh, some kind of uh, counting machine behind. A whole lot of stuff just left. People were just, uh, I guess, in a hurry to close up shop. But yes, first it was uh, Clementon National Bank was the original name of the original bank that was here then it became people's national bank when it had more locations uh one which is still standing over in uh, laurel springs is no longer a bank mind you and it was one in, in uh, i believe summerdale that was uh not summerdale it was like i forget what the third location is but uh ooh, that's going to this is going to palmyra <laughs> but at any rate uh the third location, which has been since torn down, was probably the most modern of the three old buildings. Well, of course, 1968, Urban Renewal hits Clementon. They promised this town. Mind you, I was born in 78, so I'm just going off of uh, things I've gleaned from the Clementon Historical uh, Society and other Clementon history pages and so forth. Let me get a good picture for the thumbnail, you think? Okay. But uh, they promised us a shopping mall. This didn't even come until 1990. And you can see it's not much of a shopping mall. <laughs> we had to wait 22 years to get this. Trust me, it was not worth it. <laughs> and... Uh, because they tore down pretty much everything, the movie theater, all the shops, and the, the old bank building, this was a replacement. But then People's National Bank was now First Peoples. Mm -hmm. A lot of trash here still. Well, First Peoples, was bought by Core States. 
Oh, let's go into Westmont. Oh, I wonder if that's going to be near the proof site for uh, one bank uh, I serve as well as an ATM serve, um, technician. But uh, at any rate, the first Peoples was bought by Core States. Core States was bought by First Union, and around this time, this particular branch was spun off and was bought by Santander. Mm -hmm. We're here in the drive through area, and we can see where the drive up ATM was. <laughs> I remember having to use this drive up ATM that used to be here. Of all days to have on a pay Friday, I just got my hair cut because I just got paid. I'm driving my Subaru. No, oh, I love that car. 93 Impreza. Little sedan, little five speed. Loud exhaust. <laughs> that thing was fun. And uh, some guy pulled out in front of me and I say the brakes in the rain, mind you. Jumped the curb and hit a telephone pole. That was it for my car, but I had towed home and we stopped here, and Toucher gonna have, have me stop here so I can mac out the money to pay him. So there's some memories here. <laughs> also, the church I used to belong to growing up, when this was still First Peoples, they had an account with this bank. But uh, interesting, at least since the 68 or even since the early 70s, this was the original First Peoples sign. It was much bigger, but the posts are still there from the original sign. And, uh, I mean, the, other than the signs changing over the years, the posts stayed the same here. So, and you figure there's been uh, how many banks? Uh, First Peoples, Poor State, Swakovia, now Santander. So, four banks have used this uh, location. Of course, this location is not a nice area like it once was. Uh, again, you have that shopping center that we got versus what we were promised. But we also have right near the uh, amusement park. And by the way, you take this road back here. This will take you to the Pine Valley Golf Club, a really ritzy, ritzy place. Just something uh, a little extra here for... Uh, the, uh, those who didn't know this. And that should just about do it for us here at the uh, former Santander, former People's National Bank. Well, folks, if you like what you see on this channel, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Check out uh, places that recently closed in your area. You never know what you might find. And uh, you guys have a great day out there. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.